きいなはい、あ、Well, we're rolling We are rolling What a very, very successful adventure so far Is that your say. pipe? Uh, have, you my, have you packed my pipe? I packed your pipe, your pipe sir as you said, I'm not sure. I'm not sure another man should pack, pack my pipe. Well, you've had an excellent day. You have had an excellent day. Highlights. Let's think about highlights. Well, I think finding the um, the fear was my highlight. You know, you really enjoyed that, didn't you? Mm. You loved it. Not being able to light my pipe isn't currently the low. Well, that's the problem. I've got a lighter somewhere as well. What do I do with it? Well, I may have just thrown it in my bag again, which is a really sake. stupid thing to do. I had the lighter. I lost the lighter. What the hell did I do with it? I've now gone through four matches. That's so weird because... You said, don't forget the lighter. Have you got a lighter? I said, yes, I've got a lighter. And now I haven't got a lighter. No, I can't do did I drop it? What do I do? Oh no, here we are. Here. Alright, oh, What do you do? The crust? Yeah, do the crust first. Let that burn for a bit. Oh, it's nice. Even just that little puffy bit there. Are you in, more in the breeze there? Mm. Come behind me. <sighs> mm. yeah. We'll keep going. Mm. Yeah. How's that? It's lovely. So your highlight was going to appear. Yeah. It's all a history thing. My highlight, I think, was the, the meeting a German in the pub at Queen, Queensborough. I forgot the name of that pub. The House of something. Yeah, the House of Home. The Use of Home. Mm. We were in the pub. A fella sits down next to us at the bar. Slightly suspicious accent. Well, I wondered whether it was a sort of Irish chefy <laughs> accent, but then realised, no, he's German. Well, I was hoping he might be Dutch. Well, I thought it was pretty curious that here we are doing... I thought it was pretty curious that here we are doing the Riddle of the Sands. We go into a bar, and sitting there is a German. And not only is he a German, he's a German who knows about boats. He's a German who knows about boats. Um, he's had an interesting life, hasn't he? Well, he the best quote is, he says, I am the only German who's taken a Falklands landing craft up the Thames, he said. Because he lived in a Falklands landing craft on an eot in Brentford. Oh, in Brentford. Eight, yeah. not an eot. Yeah. Eot somewhere else, isn't it? Yeah. An eight. An eight That's what in they Brentford. Call the islands, isn't it? In that, yeah. that part of the river. Um, so he was a good chap, and he told us how to get out to this uh, to this pier. Where yeah. we're, we're sitting in under the shade. He was a character. We're sitting in the shade, puffing away on our pipes. We went into the pub, of course, because outside there are about fifty people, all, all with, with cameras, cameras and binoculars. I, I thought, I thought maybe. I don't know, I thought maybe One Direction were landing in a yacht or yeah. something. Yes, they'd be a bit lost if they were landing here. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I they were, so we asked the chat, didn't we, what, what, what's everyone waiting for? They're blowing up the power station. Yeah. So they're blowing up the power station on the other side of the Medway from yeah. here. Um, and they were just waiting for it to, for it to blow. Um, and it didn't really, did it? But a lot of smoke billowed out and they were waiting for the chimney to come down. But now we know why the chimney didn't come down. Because they weren't going to blow it up. Because we met another. Oh, we met another oh. yeah, we, we met, met another bloke. bloke. So then we met another guy walking along, binoculars. You said, looking, bird spotting, and he said, butterflies mainly. <laughs> Didn't he? He did say, birds and butterflies. Birds and butterflies. So we said we'd seen the uh, tower blowing up. We said, oh, they can't blow that up. No, why? Why? Because, because of the peregrines. Peregrines. There's peregrines in the chimney. Almost said, you can't go around blowing up peregrines. <laughs> you can't just go around blowing up peregrines. That's what he said, wasn't why, it? Why would you want to? But uh, see, now that for me is the spirit of the adventure club that you you meet a German who's who thinks he's taken a landing, <laughs> some kind of 
military ship a German, up the Thames. A German who's invaded <laughs> Lon- who's in, he we've met a German who's invaded Britain in in English kit. Yeah. And then we've met a man who tells you you can't go around blowing up peregrines. Yeah. But I, I think these are the highlights of the people we're going to meet. That's going to be the highlight of the whole show. Yeah. Mind you, smoking a pipe is pretty good. I haven't smoked a pipe um, in a long time. That's quite rather good, isn't it? Um, oh, we also we had fish and we had, we had battered sausage and chips. Yeah. Yes. Oh well, yeah. You've got your flat bottom. <laughs> I'm a big admirer of your flat bottom. <laughs> so I can put it on my charts. I can put it on my charts. So your bottom doesn't roll around. <laughs> exactly. On your charts. It's pretty good, isn't it? I'm pretty pleased with that. So, um, so the reason we came here, yeah, in the first place, yeah. was to see for ourselves how Carruthers gets from London to uh, Flensburg. Yeah. Basically, it, overnight. Yeah. He gets there in a sort of day and a half, doesn't he? Yeah. So he came here, he got here about 10.30pm and got onto a steamer. Yeah. We've been down to the pier. I'm just looking down at the pier now from our slightly elevated position above the swale. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and... Um, it's rather revealing, isn't it? It's rather, it's rather interesting because the, the train itself was our train travel was somewhat uh, interrupted by oh, rubbish. Um, a the, trespasser a on the line. A trespasser on the line, which we should rather suspect was something a bit more mournful than a trespasser uh, on the line. It looked like somebody, you know, well, it's a person, a person, not a trespasser. Anyway, they haven't been convicted of and trespassing. Per, per, they're not a trespasser. A person on the line is the language they always used to use. Which I know. Is far yeah. more well, right. now they're trying to make you sound like a criminal, and it's your own fault that the train's late. That's what they're doing. Anyway, none of that in the book. None of that in the book. My yeah. pipe keeps going out. Yours is going quite nicely. No, mine's not now. I'm just sucking it anyway. Oh. <sighs> this is very nice. So this, this is the kind of thing that we'll be doing, is that we'll we'll stop and smoke pipes. We'll look at rather lovely views. But we will also meet people along the way and have sort of these happy accidents yeah. of encounters and suddenly butt up against actual locations as they are today and sort of have a rather sense of the... Well, that's a rather ghostly experience. Of... It's, it's, it's very odd, isn't it? Because it's this whole... I mean, how far did we walk from the main road? It must be half a mile, three quarters mm. of a mile. Mm. Um, nothing here at all. Mm. Abandoned railway line. Some dead, decaying hulks out on the sands. Mm. This this very rickety pier with a pipe running alongside mm. it. Which uh, We saw some chap walking across. I'm still not quite clear how he got over there because there was a gap in the middle of it. Indiana yeah. Jones style. So um, when we come to the adventure for real... We're going to have to film all that. Yeah. I did do an experiment with my phone for streaming media. You did, a bit, per- you did a bit of periscoping? Yeah, and we can film that. So basically, we we're a bit bolder on the actual experiment. That when we meet somebody interesting, we oh. interview them. Yeah. They tell us a funny story, we mm. move on. Mm. And we collect. we collect people as well as things as we go along. I Which think will be fantastic. I think we'll look more... Um, I wish I had a recording of the man who said, you can't just go around blowing up peregrines. We'll look more notable. (laughs) We'll look more notable in Germany by virtue of not being German. Yeah, that's true. We'll look like outsiders, won't we? So people will go, what are you doing here? I think round here, (laughs) we still look like a bit of outsiders, frankly. Yeah. I I think I might be the only one in the four-mile radius with that tattoo Mm. on my arm. So it's people, it's places, it's things. Pipes, we went and bought pipes. can't get this. Pipes. Pipes. I bought uh, tin meat, tourist meat, because that was in the book. I had to buy some tourist meat. We got ourselves a galvanised rigging screw. Did I, you bought this, didn't you? From one uh, and three eighths inch. Have we shown this? We've not shown this on the video before. No, this, no. This is a galvanised rigging screw. One yeah, I got it. One and eighth of an inch. One because eighth, that's one what the book. That's what the book said I had to do. And Arthur Beals didn't believe this thing existed, but then they turned out they had one. A lot of battling about that. A lot of battling. It's an M12. That's the size. That's it, that. That's the one. So and, that's the one. And, yeah, that's the one and three eighths. Yeah. So the, the the cable goes through there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I discover. Yeah. I don't know anything about boats, but now I do. Yeah, yeah. Well, you don't need to now. You've got a really I'm going to be wandering around with this. That's what uh, I'm going to be doing. It's going to be quite simple. Hiya. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Come on. Ah. So we're picking up useful stuff. Pipes, tin meat, rigging screws. <laughs> I was going to say, there's no way we get this open. Unfortunately, there is. We're not going to eat it now, are we? No, we're not. I'm not going to make you do it. I'm not going to eat it ever. And, um, is this Polish? Yeah. Come on, honey. Baltic. Gr- Baltic poles. Gratka. The Baltic poles. Okay. My pipe's going like, like Billy Oak. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit disappointed by my Look pipe. Look at my pipe. Look at my pipe. Look at my pipe. I'm going to try and match. 
This is a life. People, places, things. And all that for 25 quid, you just got to pay 25 quid on onbound.co.uk. You keep saying that, but you can only pay 10 quid. No, I want 25 quid from them. Because they, that's how you get the book. You get an e-book for 10 quid. Well, you, well, the e-book's going to be you, no fun. The book's going to be the lovely thing. You want the thing, you want, look, the, you want the artifact. Well, because look, look at my battered version of this book. I love this book, right? It's got all my marketing. Just imagine if I had this, plus my own logbook of the, what the world is like there now, with maps and guides and stuff, and maybe some blank pages for my own little doodlings, right? I'd pay 25 quid for that, especially if it had a really swanky cover and um, maybe even had my own name in it, you know, because I'd helped out because I'm a member of the club, that kind of thing. Got your name in the back? Yeah. So can, you tell, can you tell I'm not really focused? You're not, are you? I'm too busy on your pipe. Oh. Uh, but this is where a love of a good book can take you. Oh, of course. Isn't it? If you really like a book and then you really get into it. So pledge. You end up at riddleofthesands.net, unbound.co.uk slash riddleofthesands. Pledge to our project. Yeah. Get yourself a glorious book. Yeah. An e-book. Less glorious, but, but portable. Mm. Um, and uh, we're also going to be filming, um, not filming, a recording, uh, an audio book. So I'm going to read the book from the locations. Mm. So we've read a bit of the book today from down there by the jetty because there's a bit of the book that happens down there. Yeah. So you'll get all the noises and the atmosphere. Um, I promise not to try and light my pipe while I'm reading my bits. I'm in a because it just of makes a really annoying noise. Look at mine. Yeah, your pipe. Your pipe's rather splendid, actually. I'm in a moment of. I've got pipe serenity. I've got pipe envy. No, I've got. I've got my book. Where's your pipe? I packed that for you as well. Why don't I do such I've a bad job book, of mine? I've got my pipe. I've got my can meat. I am. Got your, got your I spirit. am a super member of the Adventure Club. <laughs> you are. You are. Well, m member number one. Member number one. Member number one. <laughs> God, yeah. this is a good idea. It might just be us two, of course. I don't know, because if we tell them where we are all the time, then they can bloody well join us anyway, can't well, they? Yeah. If they want to. Yeah. If you want to, we're well, going to tell you where we're going to be from yeah. the 23rd of September to the 26th of October. So if you want most of the time we're going to be on land. So if you want to follow us, you it's can come and be in the adventure if you really want to do. Yeah. So, so come along. Come and have a drink and a pipe. Mm. And a schnapps. Meet all the characters we're going to meet. Meet all the characters we're going to meet. Come and get us out of jail. And then when you get back, your own special edition. Your own special edition. Well, not when they get back. <sighs> well, no, do it now. Do it now. Within a year. Do it now. Anyway. I think it's a great way to make a book, isn't it? I think it's a great way to make a book more resonant than it already is. Yeah. Just that these places that we've forgotten about. I mean, this was a this would have been buzzing yeah, down yeah. here a hundred years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People were getting on the on the boat on the train the the boat train. Yeah. In Victoria. Yeah. Coming down here, nipping over to the continent. Yeah. The mail was coming through here. Right. Off to Holland. Okay. So it would have been buzzing. There would have been you know, two or three trains a day coming down, all the mm. way through, down through there. Steam trains. It would have looked look glorious. Mm. Yeah. They were the days. Well, that's... Yeah. And Britain owned half the world. Hey, look, there's a boat coming down now. Look. Coming down where? Big boat coming down now. Oh, yeah. Coming down the uh, Medway. Hey, yeah. So that's the thing about taking a book out for a walk, is I would never be here if it wasn't for this, for this book. I would never be here. Well, to be fair, you would never be here unless I told you which way to come either. Because <laughs> you, uh, you, you, you mock my, uh, my uh, attraction to timetables and railway routes. Yeah, but without you, I'd be lost. It was only by my research that we figured out this is where he came from. But this is why you're not Davis, isn't it? Because that, without Davis, Carruthers would be nowhere, wouldn't he? Yeah. He'd, be, he'd be lost. Completely lost. Well, I don't know if you'd be lost. I think you'd be having a good time shooting with the. Uh, oh, up at Morven Lodge. Up at Morven Lodge with the uh, the, young, the Phillies. Oh, yeah. God damn it! That's another book entirely that I've missed out on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <sighs> is that coming out the way? Or is it coming out the swale? Glorious. Swirl? I don't know. Can't tell. Might be coming out the swale. Mm. Anyway, we must. Uh, we must head home. I don't know. I think I could. Happily... Stay here. If, if, if we'd brought some bloody schnapps, 
or a, or a German you're beer, in charge or of a Vittles. Flensburger beer. I'm in charge of directions and timetables, uh, you're in charge of Vittles. Oh, that's true, I should have bought some bloody beers, and then you we could have just... You haven't even brought any water, we're going to be, we're going to be found dead here. <sighs> well, we'll be more prepared when we really do it. It's been but this good, is a great start. It's been a good day, isn't it? This is a good start, this gives a, a very good feel for oh, what We should emphasise something as well, actually. The reason we did this today, and not after September 23rd, is we're not going to come this way. Yeah, I was quite annoyed with you about that. <laughs> we can't we can't come this way because there's no boat to Holland. Yeah, it was only when we got halfway here, you described you made it clear to me that this is part of the adventure that we can't actually do. Well, we're doing it now. So when we go, we're going to have to go to Harwich. Yeah, because you can't get a boat from uh, here. Uh, Harwich to Hook of Holland. Yeah. Um, so this is a bit of a red herring, isn't it? Well, no, I think it's if we were if we were, if we were being completists, we would have had to come here. Okay, it was a false start. Let's call it a false start. Uh, I prefer prefer to think of it as training. <laughs> very good, a training day. A training day. That's very good, a training a day. Start. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Very good idea. We, we should have more training days. What they, what they call a tech run in the theatre. Oh, darling. Is <laughs> that our dress rehearsal? Mm. That's a, no. I'm liking it. Yeah. So, okay. what other facts do we know? Well, Coimbra itself is rather lovely. I was right. I've never been here before. Got some really lovely, lovely, lovely old buildings. Well, compared to the rest of the aisle, yes. Well, don't be rude about that, Shepi. Well. <laughs> <laughs> it's fallen a long way. It's certainly the best bit of it. It's fallen a long way. It has. It's the back of beyond, frankly. But that makes it all the more attractive. This bit, this bit's fine. It's when you... Actually, do you know what ruins it around here? What? The people! Oh, don't say that. <laughs> That's the power station they were blowing up. Yeah, you're right. It's not that one, it's that yeah, one. Yeah, right, you're right, yeah. Where can we see that from down there? I think we were below the hillock. Below, below the, the hillock? Yeah, yeah, we were below it. Can you see it? So that's where the peregrines are. Yeah. Can't go around blowing up peregrines. That is a classic line. Classic line. Uh. So we should write a blog post on riddlesands.net about... Our day out. About this. Our grand day out. So this would be a good example of a day, how we document a day when we get out there. Yeah. When it would, uh, we can work out the format, as it were, yeah. of what we're doing, so that people really understand what they're getting for their money. Yeah, absolutely. I was wondering whether maybe we should both write posts, and one should be from Carruthers' point of view, and the other should be from David's point of view of the same day. <laughs> well, well, you would just be grumbling about the, uh, the trains. I probably would. Uh, I probably would. I would probably be grumbling about you grumbling. Yes. I think you'd be waxing lyrical about... The uh, trains. ...about an, uh, 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 a frankly decrepit jetty. Oh, the jetty was exciting, though. <laughs> God, the jetty was exciting. <laughs> well, I compared it to Blackfriars Station, you, you were somewhat dubious. Well, I'd rather be at Blackfriars Station. Would you? Well, and get a coffee there. Not today, you wouldn't. You'd get a coffee There's there. There's a tube strike on. No, I wouldn't like to be there today. No. But there are some shops. You know there how I like are, a bit of shopping. There are no shops here, are there? There's, there's nothing sh- here. There's no shops here. It's very odd, isn't it? That's a London thing, though, isn't it? Yeah. Where would I buy my clothes, my local sweaters and stuff that your I need? Sti- your cable stitch sweaters. Well, yeah. And your oil skins, not the yachting sword. Yeah. No. I'm going to have to get a, get a sailing cap. That's for sure. This time last week we were... Uh, film club. Getting film club ready, weren't we? Yeah, yeah. Been a busy old week. Well, it's all coming together nicely. Because, of, of course, we weren't supposed to be here today, were we? We were supposed uh, to be in Norfolk. Shall we record that separately? Because I need to have reference to the emails concerned. I can remember the email. Okay. Yes, we were going to research the Medusa, weren't we? We were. And uh, I had found a boat that I thought might be similar to the Medusa. Yeah. Called the Juno. In... Um, in Norfolk, Norfolk, Norfolk. Near, near Blakeney. Yeah, Morston. Um, and we'd arranged to go and visit this boat today. Yeah. Um, but the chap who owns it emailed us. He dumped you. He did. You were jilted. Oh yeah. He um, he emailed us earlier this week saying he couldn't make it. Yeah. And he also said that he'd been in touch with um, a Jim. Jim, who'd written uh, a biography of Childers. Yeah. And had said that actually the Juno was nothing like the Medusa. And, and clearly was, Lloyd doesn't know anything about boats, he, did he use, said. He did use the phrase, perhaps Lloyd doesn't know anything about I boats. I don't think he even said perhaps. 
No, he did say perhaps. Did he? Yeah. He was fairly um, blunt. Which is which is broadly true. I don't know anything about boats. I no, that's it, true. I thought it was a little bit um, blunt. Blunt. Yeah. Um, and also, then as soon as as soon as as soon as they found out, you knew nothing about boats, and it might not be anything to do with the you know that we were dropped like a stone. Dropped we? like a stone. We were dropped. Like Sorry, a stone. I'm busy. <laughs> so, uh, so we came here instead. Yeah. Which is a shame because we were also going to go to the Norfolk jacket shop and get we were, look at, look and at and proper clothes. Yeah. So I'm missing out on that. Yeah. Because you couldn't get the boat sorted. Yeah. That was my fault too. Well, poor research about the producer, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, well, I as you know, I probably don't know anything about boats. <laughs> let's do some more. Let's really kill it on the Medusa research. Let's do some proper stuff about it. Well, I did do quite a lot of your Medusa research. Right. Well, I, I think the problem was I hadn't really researched this other boat. I want to record that again. You talking about that in detail and, and really nail it so yeah. that we then so we really stick it to them that we do know what we're talking about when it comes to the Medusa, and then we can conclude that it was nothing like the Juno. No, I don't think it was anything like the Juno. Yeah. So we were wasting our, we were wasting our time with him wasting his time. <laughs> not that I'm not that I'm slightly irritated. Not that, by we, it. not that we're slightly put out by no, this. I uh, don't mind. We went bonus. Last minute change. So the last minute change came in. Oh, I've just, I've just spotted something that does take the slight edge off the view. There is an abandoned mattress down there. Well, I don't take the edge off of me at all. That, is quite, that, 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 that suggests more adventure. What do you What do you mean? <laughs> I'm from Norfolk, mate. They used to have mattresses in every other field there. <laughs> yes. That's Norfolk gone then. No, well, good decision to not just stay at home but to do something else. Yeah, absolutely. Very good decision. Absolutely. And it's been good fun. Yeah, so stuck in a film club last week and then outdoors this week. This, this, is, this is in the spirit of the club. The club ethic is emerging, isn't it? I'm slightly concerned Social. about setting fire to the entire... Uh, out, out, outdoorsy? Yeah, it's about getting out there. It's about meeting people. I mean, hearing their stories. Well, and also just... It's some, it is a kind of sort of... Narrative archaeology, I'm going to say to you. Oh, very good. Narrative archaeology? Yeah. Not narrative anthropology? No, archaeology would be in that we go out into the landscape based on a what it was like 110 years ago, the story of it being 110 years ago. Yeah. And then we, we look at it now, and because we've read that book, we can sort of see layers, can't we? If you walked down here without reading that book, you, you would probably wouldn't have thought about the railway, would you? No, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have even known it was a railway. And you wouldn't have thought about a big steamer heading off to Holland. You would have just thought, oh, probably some... Well, before I did the Industrial research, stuff. before I did the research, we've talked about this before. I always thought a flushing steamer was a type of steamer. Yeah, me too. And uh, it turns out it's nothing of the sort. It's a steamer too flushing. Yeah, I thought it might be a company like P and O. Yeah, exactly. So we were both wrong. So we, we don't know anything about boats. And perhaps we don't know anything <laughs> about boats. <laughs> we don't know anything about boats. <laughs> what do we know about? We know about the abandoned railway in uh, Queenborough. We're learning all the time. We are. Life's a, life's the sequence of learning. Lessons, sequence of lessons. Yeah, you can't go around bombing peregrines, blowing up, blowing up peregrines. Yeah. Um, so f the final thing I'd like, the thing I think might also be good that I've realised by coming out in the field like this for the first time to an actual location in the book is there's also an opportunity here I've realised that if people know where we're going, which they will know because we've got the whole route mapped out. Yeah. They can tell us what they want to see. Absolutely. And what we need to find out. So if they knew we were coming to Queenborough, they could say, oh, I've heard X, Y, and Z about Queenborough. Could you go and check it out? I think they're unlikely to have heard X, Y, and Z about Queenborough. Yeah, but when you get out to northern Germany, you might be a bit curious about... You wrote a very good post about Cuxhaven, for example. There might be a bunch of people who've got something about Cuxhaven they'd like to know about that yeah. they can't get out there themselves. Yeah. And they just want us to go and take a look. Maybe take, take a pictures. photograph of it. Maybe or, some video. Or they might say there's a really nice shoe shop in there. I need need some can you size pick, eights. Pick up some shoes. Can you, can you get those for me and post can them? You, can you pick up some Danish head cheese? Yeah. I'm not kidding. Well, you might want... That's, you know, there's no reason why not. We could do a bit of food shopping. People bring it back. if We you know, that well, We all go around on bikes. I don't want to end up... With those. It's like I think we should be... The if world's worst Ocado delivery. I think that if club members feel they need some information... Awesome stuff from the places we're going. We should be we should be more gentlemanly than, enough more than prepared to uh, to go out and do it for them, like a service. Yeah, well, I think that's a good idea. I think it's a good idea. 
Maybe we can order some kind of uh, package delivery from... Where we, where do we finish? Ostmore. Yeah. That's where we finish up, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But it may just be simple to go and look at something there's and take a, a photo of it. There's a car coming. Don't you think? That you just, people might be curious. It might not be exactly on our route, but we there's might... two cars coming. Where are they going? Now you're acting like a spy now and saying they look suspicious. Well, one of them was what a white. Up one of them was a white van. What are they up to? I watched too many episodes of Professionals not to be suspicious about a white van. They no. seem to be unloading some packages onto a boat. <laughs> those chap, I say those chaps don't look English. I say, fellows, what are you up to? Do you think they might be Russians? <laughs> Maybe this is a smuggling den. Oh. For sure. Do you not think? Some illicit goods come in and out of here? I think they must do. I'd be surprised if they don't. I'd be disappointed. I think that bloke we saw going along the long jetting was heading off into a boat there looking with a few plastic bags, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, we're making our own. It would be a, it would be a perfect smuggling spot. We're making You've got to our get own a jetty out on deep, deep water jet. Yeah. We'll make our own stories up here. Although, hold on, wasn't there a club member? Was that Ian? Or, or It was either Ian or Kevin, inevitably, I'm sure. <laughs> or Nick or John. I had suggested that, that the bicycling thing was in itself uh, um, a, a story of two, two blokes on a cycling holiday discovering dastardly deeds in northern Germany. A contemporary novel that we would be doing. In 2015? Yeah, sort of, yeah, he sort of made up his own story out of our stuff. It was quite a funny idea. Of course, this whole project could just be a cover. We could actually be working for... For who? The Danish... The Dutch government Danish in our Dutch attempt governments. in our attempt to take over the the Ems estuary oh, yeah. oh, the for border, our own the means. The border dispute. The border dispute, indeed. Yeah, exactly that. Is it the M? It's the Emder, isn't it? So, yeah, yeah, the Emder. Yeah, very good. Sweet. Hmm. Well, very enjoyable. Can we go to the pub now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got to go and meet me Andy. Andy's drink beer. Hmm. Let's do it. Very good. There's something in there anyway. <laughs> ramblings. Ramblings. Oh, ramblings. Okay. Claire Balding's ramblings. Do you turn that off? Yeah, I will turn that off.